Today I'm gonna tell you why Arkansas has a growth chart that looks like a scary roller coaster. That's right, today we're looking at the state that has more jokes told about it than any other state. If you're a baby boomer or a Gen Xer, chances are you've heard a few jokes over the years that had to do with Arkansas and probably getting hitched to a close relative. Jeff Foxworthy made a career about making redneck jokes. He's from central Georgia, but every single joke he told could be said about Arkansas just as easily. Its nickname is the natural state and it has a very strange growth chart. In the early 1800s, it saw triple digit growth and then it dropped down to double digit for a few decades. Then they had a few decades where they were in the negative, then they went up to single, then to double digits for a couple decades. And in the last decade, they saw 3.3% growth thanks to a high birth rate and a relatively low death rate. Things are slowing down in Arkansas again and it's predicted that they will lose around 5% of their population by 2030 just because people aren't moving to Arkansas anymore. So why is this? Today, I'm going to give you the results of a survey where they asked people that were getting ready to move had they considered Arkansas. And if they said no, they had a few things they could choose from as to the reason why. In these videos, some of the reasons are the same as other states, but the stats are always different. They also asked the people that lived in Arkansas if they would ever recommend moving to Arkansas to a family member. 62% of the people in Arkansas said no. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, the weather is hot and humid in the summer. The average temperature in July is about 92 degrees Fahrenheit and the humidity can be oppressive. If you've ever spent a summer in the South, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And the whole area has that swamp smell to it too. Now, the winters can be cold and in some areas it can be very snowy. The average low temperature in January is about 32 degrees Fahrenheit and there can be a lot of snow that follows that. Now, I bring up the fact that they have snow because for some reason people seem to think that the southern states don't get any snow. That's wrong. They do get snow. Do they get Minnesota, Wisconsin snow in January? No, but they do get cold and they do see some snow. Number nine, it's too rural. Yes, this is a big complaint for people. They think it's too rural. I mean, it kind of plays into their whole natural state. It is kind of rural. Their cities aren't terribly big. The most populous city in Arkansas is Little Rock, the state capital, and they only have about 204,000 residents. Now that's just the city itself. The whole metro area has less than a million, 748,000. Arkansas is filled to the brim with little small rural towns. And when I say nice small rural towns, I hope you don't get the image of New England small town or anything like that. They do have some nice small towns, but a majority of them are the type of place where you get off the interstate, get a glimpse of the town, and the first thing out of your mouth is, keep driving, I can hold it. Arkansas only has a population of about 3 million residents. Most of them live in small towns or rural areas. Number eight, the poverty. Yep, a lot of people don't want to move here because this state has legendary poverty levels. Right now, they're doing better, if you want to call it better. Give an example. In 2020, at one point, their poverty level was 18.6%, meaning almost one in five people in Arkansas were living below the poverty line. Now, they've gotten better. In 2022, they got all the way down to about 15%. At that time, the national average was about 11%. Arkansas also has a really low median median household income. In 2021, the median household income in Arkansas was $47,260. The national average at that time was right around $63,000. Number seven, the crime rate. The crime rate in Arkansas is nuts. Really, it's their violent crime rate is kind of crazy. Nobody really has much to steal, so there's not a lot of property crime. In 2022, the violent crime rate in Arkansas was 4.2 for every 1,000 residents, meaning four people basically are going to have some sort of violent encounter every single year out of 1,000. Now, property crime has done 100,000, but the property crime rate was 2,211 for every 100,000 residents. Two of their most notorious cities for crime are Little Rock and Pine Bluff. Let me give you the stats on that. In Little Rock, the crime rate is 217% above the national average. Their violent crime rate is 432% above the national average. Pine Bluff is worse, believe it or not. Can you get worse? Yes, you can. Pine Bluff, their total crime rate is 238% above the national average, while their violent crime rate is just a hair over Little Rock's 433% above the national average. Go Pine Bluff. And crime always keeps people away. Now, obviously, to be fair, a lot of their smaller towns aren't going to have crazy crime rates like Pine Bluff and Little Rock, but still, on average, there's a little bit higher than other states. 
Number six, education. Yeah, the education system ain't great in Arkansas. The state has a really low high school graduation rate in 2020. It was 82.7%. Now that's not the worst. The absolute worst is Arizona with 74% graduation rate. Most of the country is in the low 90s. On top of that, only about 25.5% of Arkansas has bachelor's degree. And overall, their public education system is ranked 48th in the country. Number five, healthcare ranking. Arkansas doesn't have the best healthcare system. I, I mean, I'm sure it's fine, but most of the time in cases like this, it's accessibility. How many hospitals do they have? How many clinics do they have? How many doctors and nurses do they have? Usually that is where the problem is. Arkansas ranks 47th in the country for healthcare. That's not great, especially if you're, you know, of a certain age. If you get up into your 50s, you're Start looking at things like that. When you're 20, 30, I understand you don't care if they got doctors at all because you're invincible. Wait till you hit about 47. Number four, you're going to die sooner than later. Yeah, Arkansas, they have a really low life expectancy. In 2020, the life expectancy in Arkansas was 73.2 years, which was lower than the national life expectancy of 78.2. You're losing five years just by moving to Arkansas. All the New England states are 79 years, 79.1, 79.2. The highest in the country is Hawaii with 80.7. The leading causes of death in Arkansas are Heart disease takes 22.3% of the people. Cancer takes 20.8%. And one guy died from having his cheeks super glued together. I guess he went into a panic and uh, had a heart attack of some sort. Number three, politics. Now, this one always shows up on these lists. People have a problem with the politics, whatever state it is. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with anyone's politics. It just, some people, it bugs them. I don't get it, but is what it is. So here's the rundown on politics in Arkansas. The state is politically conservative. Arkansas is a very conservative state, and its politics are often dominated by social and religious conservatism. This can be a turnoff for people on the more liberal or progressive side of the political spectrum. So much so that it was voted number three for why people won't move to Arkansas. Number two, travel. This is a weird one. So it's hard to travel to Arkansas. Arkansas is not a major transportation hub. Arkansas doesn't have any major international airports, and it's not a major stop on any major interstate highway. This can make it difficult and expensive to travel to and from Arkansas. If you don't travel a lot, there's parts of the country that are just too far away from any of the big cities. Get too comfortably, I guess you could say. Not comfortably, within reason. Like if you want to fly to, I go to Honesdale all the time. I have to leave Portland and land in some place like North Carolina and then come back to Scranton. And then I still got an hour's drive. If I landed in Philadelphia, I got a two hour drive up here in Portland, Oregon. If you wanted to go to Bend, you got to fly into Portland, Oregon and take like a three hour drive down to Bend. Well, the entire state of Arkansas is kind of like that. I mean, Little Rock has an airport. It's just not one of the major ones. So not a lot of flights come through there. If you're going to fly there, a lot of times it's like you got to fly to Atlanta. Then you got to come back to Arkansas. Arkansas. Or in some cases, you got to fly to Chicago, then to Atlanta, then back to Arkansas. Or you got to go to Salt Lake City, then to Dallas, then to Arkansas. If you're someone that travels for work, this is a big turnoff, and I could see why it would make it on the list. I don't think it belongs at number two, but apparently this is such a problem in Arkansas that it makes it number two on a list like this. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There's a link for that channel down below in the description area. Please go over and subscribe. All right, on to number one. And number one, teen pregnancy. Yes, this is a problem, especially if you're a parent. Arkansas has a high rate of teen pregnancy. In 2020, the teen pregnancy rate in Arkansas was 14.5 for every 1,000 women aged 15 to 19, which was higher than the national average of 10.8 for every 1,000 women. This can definitely be a concern for parents who are considering moving to Arkansas with young girls or young boys. Someone's got to get them pregnant, right? I have a friend that actually moved her kids from Tennessee because she had three daughters. She has three daughters and where they're from in Tennessee, that's kind of the trend. It's what happens. She's all, I don't want my girls around that because if your friends are kind of doing things like that, sometimes you slip into that mode too. We always hope our kids go to school and fit in, you know, sometimes they fit into the wrong things too, not just the good things. 
All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.